Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, we thought about our standing firm together and not being frightened when there's opposition to the gospel, when we suffer for the gospel. And Paul explained further in Philippians chapter 1 why it's such an encouragement to do so. First, it brings reassurance. He says in verse 28, this is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved. Our united stand in defence of the gospel is a double sign. It's a sign of judgment against the world who oppose us. For it shows that only God can keep his people going through such trials. They cannot succeed. It challenges people that their opposition to the gospel does not prevent Christians from following Jesus. And it's also a sign of reassurance to believers that they really are the people of God and will be saved on the last day. Maybe you've gone through a period when you faced opposition for your faith. You've been cold shouldered by some, laughed at by others. And yet you've kept going. You've been unashamed of being a Christian. And as you stand firm, that is a sign to you. That is an encouragement to you because it shows you that Jesus really is working in your life. It assures you that your faith is genuine. That Jesus is giving you a stickability to the gospel that you never realised was possible. So first there is reassurance when you suffer for Jesus and stand firm. And secondly, the privilege of suffering for Jesus. It's amazing, isn't it? Paul says that to suffer for the gospel, it's actually a privilege. He writes in verse 29 to 30 that God calls us to suffer for the Lord Jesus, who has suffered for us. He writes, for it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him. Since you are going through the same struggle, you saw that I had and now hear that I still have. Now, we don't always think of suffering that way, but it's what Paul says. It's a gift from God to suffer for him as we publicly identify with Jesus. Indeed, if Jesus suffered and the Apostle Paul suffered, then we can expect to suffer too. So let's not despair if we're given a tough time for our faith. Instead, let's turn around our attitude towards it and draw deep reassurance from it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you know there are times when people are around us, they quietly mock us for our faith or more, or more publicly challenge us. Whatever we face, please help us to stand firm and be reassured that you're working through us and for us at this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Wednesday. See you tomorrow.